to the Accra Sports Stadium, venue for Hearts of Ox 15th week game in the Ghana Premier League against Cape Coast Ebusia Mysterious Dwarves is great to redeem their images. They've gone four games in the Premier League together with a stream city of effort. He's been brilliant for them this season. He ended the call. Umar Manaf is the most advanced midfielder there, having a foot and Mbotri in behind them. That can never shy away from putting in a tackle. Over Purple Shores and Ebusia Dwarves, Hills and Moro gets us underway. Obuki, here is Simon Mate. Cross goes straight to the head of Larry. And Kruma Kosa will try a shot. No problems for Richard Atta. The cross that followed was disappointed. Here is Razaki, goes down. It's a penalty. Razaki Sa brings down Patrick Razak. Jones Akubiem. It's a pass over so. That goes to the, the pace of Patrick Razak is what they can deal with. He gets the first touch. Goalkeeper is coming out and dashing out. It's not getting to the ball. The ball is moved past him already. It's gone. It's their contact. Referee whistles. Edu steps forward. And he makes it 1 0 for Atsabok. No questions about that delivery. Spot on, accurate, and powerful. That's one dwarf's nil. He wasn't messing around with this one, Victor Edu. More importantly, into an angle where even if the goalkeeper gets right, he wasn't going to reach it. Moving into the side of the net. Yeah, into that corner. Goalkeeper is not going to reach it. But the pace in the strike, very emphatic. Confident run up as well and just giving hats of dwarfs would have to chase this game. Moro Sumaila delivers. Obuka makes a mistake. Kofi Alia is late for that one. He sends one at Radio right, Lucas is here. That's coming through. He sees all the way, but the ball is just dipping before it gets to him. And he attempted to clear that ball with his weak pad ready as well. Now Patrick Razak twisted and turning. He goes past Anafo. Another penalty. Anafo brings down Patrick Razak for a second penalty. I've got the quality to exploit, and that is him spinning his man in and out. Clear contact, clear foul in the box is a penalty. Right call by the referee. There you see the contact. Is he going to go for power again? He steps forward. Edu. Again, he smashes it and adds the book. A 2 0 up. Yeah. It's a carbon copy of the first. And I don't care if he should repeat the trick for the second. Yes, he did repeat the trick. And he still come up with the same results. Ball in the back of the net for Hart of Fox second. All from the spots. A 2 0 up. All two goals scored by one man. Lovely play from Nuru Sule. But hey, he's giving away possession. Was it the best of decisions to be taken? Back was something very, very special to score from here. And he had against. Can't go past Adika and Anafo. Oh, but Hamon is onside. He's got Nuru Sule to beat. He sets up Moro! And the pulled one back. Ebusia. Went to Larry to smile at Moro on that far side. The movement is good. But this one will go down as a goalkeeping error. There's absolutely no way a goalkeeper should be beaten from this angle on this near side. Alta didn't set himself well and he knows it. Laclas down Simon Matis part. And referee Jones Akubiem has 2 1. I remember that. Could Patrick Razak swings one in, trying to score from there. Goalkeeper situation just lucky. So he was just going straight into that net. Yeah, good pass in a good place, in a good position. No real troubles in dealing with it. Edu. Radio Vuka. Manaf is interested in the driver and that's close. Manaf. Yeah. First touch was good. You see nobody really dashing out to close down the spaces. He has all the time and space to. It's just cut the face of Patrick Razak. Flag stays down. Ben Aqua. He goes past Larry Sumaila. Radio Buka with a goal line clearance. And that is the first one. Good run. Good timing of his run. Lovely skill to go past Larry Sumala. The first time anybody has gone past him in the game, but I just couldn't gather it on the first time of asking. Ball 
a set up and it could have gone anywhere. That ball was heading into the back of the net, but credit to Radio Vuka who had read the situation well. And he gifted possession and he came in with a tackle. Penalty for Dwarfs. He's on the wrong, wrong side of the attacker. I thought Larry Smeller got a bit of the ball as well. And Tom Akosa scores! And Ebusia Dwarfs have equalized. It's 2 2. Hey, they say they don't. And come on, the, oh, come on the man, the skipper, stepping up the, all the pressure on his shoulders. But shake that pressure off and hit that into the back of the net is what he did. More than they deserved. They've been the better side in the second half. And he had a goal to show for it. Has get a free kick and Manav quickly takes it. Larry with a cross in. Simon Mate has it out. And Saboche. Yeah, good goalkeeping from inside of this near side. Once the ball is on that far side, make sure you're covering your near side to make sure the ball is not squeezing through. He was that did all of that well. Look at his positioning. He has a good sight and clear vision of the, the ball. Of the players have begun doing and Hatsabo can punish them. Of being junior. Here is Manaf. That's the goal. The phobia and them thanking the goal scorer Isaac Mensah who lived off the bench to replace Patrick Razak. Is that build up that ball into Manaf? Trying to go past his he couldn't on the turn. Okipa lost his foot in there because he was wrong footed with the strike. Was a good one on the turn into the back of the net for Hearts of Folk and deep, deep into stop it time. The Phobians, his mouth, yes. An exciting five goal thriller has finally come to an end with Arsabok. But Arsabok, good to be back to winning ways. Yeah, it's an impressive win for them today. Not performance by results. Full time score in Accra, Arsabok three, Dwarfs two. Thank you.